It's a backpack. It's a chair. It's a cooler. And it's Bluetooth speakers. This is the super real backpack cooler Bluetooth speaker chair. If you analyze the backpack, the chair, the cooler, the speakers, any one of them separately, you would say, eh, it's okay. But the fact that they're all together is what makes this product interesting. The backpack has these padded adjustable straps and a handy pocket on the back. Although, if you are actually wearing this on your back, I'm not sure how much you want to have in this pocket because it would be poking you in the back. The backpack contains this waterproof cooler. There is also the Bluetooth speaker that is removable and a, another pocket here. The stool collapses for easy transport. When you open it up, I wouldn't say it's that much larger, but it is somewhat larger. It is very sturdy. It, I've been sitting on this with no problems at all. Um, I have tried sitting on this so that my legs are facing this way and also so that, uh, well, I guess my legs are always gonna be facing in front of me, but I, I've tried sitting on it both ways and uh, either way, I wouldn't say this is, it, it felt like I was a little low to the ground. I'm 6'1", so um, I, would, I would prefer if this was higher, but it's not bad. The cooler is basically an insulated lunch bag and it does an okay job. It's it's not like you're going to be using this for weeks at a time, but uh, just if you're just, this would be the kind of thing that you're taking to the Independence Day fireworks or something along those lines, something you're just going to use for one day. This thing looks like it has a face. Um, this is not, this is not a very good Bluetooth speaker and it's, it's a, it's a very bad Bluetooth speaker, but it is a Bluetooth speaker. And how many other people do you know that have a cooler with a Bluetooth speaker built in? Not that many, I bet. So they might be jealous of this, no matter how mediocre it is. The, there is no bass, uh, everything, everything, it's, it's a lot of distortion. You don't want to overdrive the speaker. Uh, the, the, ter the treble is terrible, the bass is terrible, the mid-range is not that great either, but it is a speaker and very likely no one else will have this. If you really can't stand it, this does come off and you can leave it at home. Also, there's supposed to be a, what, a cover on this port. Um, it easily falls off and it's so annoying to put it back on. I, I might just, well, no, of course I'm going to put it back on, but I don't like it. Um... We have a slider switch here to turn the power on. We have a USB drive here, uh, auxiliary input, and a micro USB power cord. Why? Do not use micro USB in 2024. That's, that's, don't, nobody should be using this past 2020, I think, but it, be that as it may. Um, but if you don't want the speaker at all, you can simply zip it right off and leave it at home. And then behind the here is a, another pocket. The Super Real Backpack Cooler Chair. This is not something you will be using every day. In fact, you might only be taking this to picnics, to parades, to wherever. It's an occasional use device, but it's so handy that I think other people will be jealous regardless of how mediocre this speaker is. How do you rate this? It, it's in a class by itself. The only thing I can think of is to compare it to the version two of this same device that doesn't exist and may never exist. It's the version two, my dream backpack cooler speaker. As such, I'm going to give this a three out of five star rating and I'm really hoping for version two. This is the Gorette Jellyfish Lamp Bluetooth speaker. I had to dim the lights because the jellyfish really doesn't show up in even moderate room light. This is meant to be a night light, and as such, it is actually really cool. I, I do like the clock, but um, I guess I don't even know how you set it. Maybe it... I don't remember it setting this clock, but it is accurate. No, it isn't. It's an hour off. I don't know how you set the clock. This is not going to win any prizes for the control panel. The gray on gray buttons just don't work for me. But this is the power button. 
We have the timer switch here. You can also use this to set the time on the time clock. We've got the color selector for the jellyfish here, and then play, pause, and volume and track control on either side of that. On the back, we have the access ports, a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, TF card slot, U drive slot, and the USB-C charging port. Then on the bottom, we have a two inch speaker. If you are using this as a nightlight, then you might also be using the speaker at a low volume when you're trying to sleep. And that's probably the best use case. The sound quality of the speaker isn't great. And the louder you get, the worse it is. But if you do want to listen to this at a louder volume, I suggest putting it on a carpeted floor or maybe getting one of those carpet samples from the store and placing it on that. Uh, I, it helps, the carpet will help to deaden the harsh sounds that this thing can make. I'm not trying to be cruel, but uh, I just want you to get the best experience out of this. And by deadening those harsh sounds, you'll get the most out of the speaker. If you are buying this device, it's because of the jellyfish. It is a cool nightlight. These speak, you're not buying this for the sound quality. There are better speakers for that. But for like for a cool nightlight with a bonus speaker, why not? I'm going to give this a three out of five star rating uh, just because I, I, I don't even know if this could be changed, but I would like to have this jellyfish just brilliant in any lighting condition. And I, maybe I'm asking too much. I love it in the dark. In the, in the daylight, you can't even really tell what's going on, so. I'm three out of five stars. I suppose you're going to tell me that you already have a water bottle. Well, does your water bottle have a Bluetooth speaker built in? This is the Lit Flask. It is a nice coated, double insulated metal water bottle. It has a rubber handle, a flip up spout, and a screw on lid. In here we have the straw, this is this will hold 20 ounces. And I mean, I would, by itself, it's a nice water bottle, but the RGB just, I love it. It's, <laughs> it just really catches your eye. The Bluetooth speaker portion does unscrew so that you can presumably wash this part and not worry about getting this wet. The Bluetooth speaker has fairly standard controls. This top button here, is for the RGB lighting effect. You have play pause here, the volume and track control here. And I think, I don't, I, I lost the instructions or, or they didn't send them, I don't know. But I think this is a TWS mode button. So that if you have two of these, you can link them together to use in a left and right channel mode. I don't know for sure. That's just, I think that's what that's for. And then we have a, power button here. Now on the back, we have a nice feature. Behind this panel, we have the USB-C charging port up top. And then down below, we have a USB-C secondary charger so that you can charge another device, maybe your phone or what have you, with the internal battery. This comes in four different colors, white, pink, black, and blue. I like the white the best, but I think they all look good. How does the speaker sound? Well, it sounds pretty good. How many other people do you know that even have a speaker built into their water bottle? Probably none, let alone this fancy RGB lighting system. It has a certain amount of bass, not a ton of bass, not teeth rattling bass, not annoy your neighbor bass. It has a pleasant amount of bass. The mid-range sounds good. The uh, the the high frequencies sound pretty good. You don't want to drive this thing up above, let's say, 75% volume or you will start to get distortion. But when you have a versatile device like this, it does sound pretty good. I wouldn't mind listening to music on this. Do I rate this as a water bottle? Do I rate it as a speaker? Is it a class unto itself because it has both? This is a nice product. When you hold this in your hands, you will feel quality. I'm going to give this 
a four out of five star rating just because I think some things could be improved. You can always make things better and make it like a version two of this product and it would be awesome. As it is, it's still awesome. Four out of five stars. This is the Assisane Flame Atmosphere Speaker. And despite it looking like a gimmick, this actually sounds pretty good. The most noticeable feature, of course, is the lighting effect. We have off flickering, and solid. I like flickering the best. The controls are pretty standard for a Bluetooth speaker, with one exception. This does support TWS mode. That function is kind of buried in dual functionality with the power button. In case you don't already know, TWS mode is true wireless stereo. It would allow you to pair two of these for a right and left channel experience. This is an indoor-outdoor speaker with IP65 water resistance. Do not submerge the speaker, but it should be fine if you get caught in the rain. You are not going to get a lot of bass out of this, but I think there is a gate on the on the lower frequencies because it just kind of cuts off. It's, it doesn't distort, it just doesn't try. And of the two options, that's better. The mid-range sounds pretty good, and the higher frequencies also sound good. This plays some songs better than more expensive speakers. There is a threaded hole on the bottom, so you could mount this on a pole of some sort. They suggest that you use these for your camping or patio, and yeah, I think that would be a good application. You have your mood lighting, your mood music. Perfect. I'm going to give these a 4 out of 5 star rating. Thanks for stopping by.